Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, welcome back to Golden Sun The Lost Age. Uh, last time, we went and picked up a synergy known as Tremor, which Piers has. Alright, I was right the first time. And this is a synergy which will possibly serve to knock over- oh wow, okay, that's extreme. Alright, lava flowing onto water gives you cobblestone, water flowing onto lava gives you obsidian. I, I think that was uh, cobblestone. Then again, the rate that that lava was flowing makes it, makes it look like I might actually be in like the nether or something, and I, I'm pretty sure that water just is not a thing in the nether. What game are we talking about again? Anyway, let's see. I I keep doing that. I keep using Frost instead of Douse. I need to use Douse on this thing. Piers' PP is getting reduced quickly because I keep using the wrong synergies. Um, Alright, so we can, we can push this that way. That's going to... Um, create a little bridge I can hop over, and is this, what exactly did this change? Did this, um, this opened up, um, this opened up this, this path back here, right? So we can follow this. All right, have not been here before. Um, let us use, all right, I'm going to have to think about this. Use Douse, using the correct synergy this time. I don't know what that's going to do because it doesn't look like there's anything I can really accomplished by pushing it, aside from turning all the lights off, I guess? Okay. Uh, big lava room. Big lava room. Let me, um... Let me think about this. Uh... I feel like we're coming up on a boss, I have to say. Um... Let's see... I keep saying... How I, uh, I haven't fought a boss in a while. Oh, what's that? Okay. Um... Hello, mysterious blinking fairy light thing. What what do I have to what do I have to do with this? Um, reveal perhaps? Um Where's Scoop? Stardust. Okay. Um Is that the end of the line here? That's not the end of the line, is it? There's gotta be more to that than this. More to this than that. Um... Let me, let me use, uh, let me use Reveal again. Is there anything else on the ground? That's Douse. I forgot what, what spells I have. Okay, so move and Douse. I forgot what spells I have on my on my shoulder buttons. Um, I guess that's it. Oh, I'm gonna have to move this again, aren't I? Um, I guess that's it. Stardust. That was that was the big thing in the last room. Let me see. Uh, all right, retreat. At the very least, like Teopo Swamp is the blacksmith's place, right? So at the very least, I can probably bring that back to the blacksmith and he'll probably do something for me, right? Um, let's see. I'm gonna want to retreat again. Uh, yes, please. And I, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to, um, to Yalom, aren't I? Anyway, I'm back in Yalom. You, the lazy sack of potatoes. Let's see. I think I've actually got a couple of items that I can give you. And they'll turn into things. So, was, um, Water Essence it says forgeable. Let's see what you can turn that into. Um, you're gonna make something. And am I gonna have to, like, leave and come back? Um, alright. Let me, let me leave and come back and see if you finish working. Or maybe I'll have to, like, I don't know, wait. 10 minutes and come back or something like that. I don't really know what the criteria was. Um, like that the first time when he forged the rusty staff into something. Uh, although if all, I, if all I do have to do is leave and come back, then that will... Uh... Alright, here's the thing. Yeah, take the cash. Spirit ring. What is the spirit ring going to going to do here. Um, restores 160 HP to all allies. Lowers my defense by a bit. Only only like 3, 2-3% or so. 
Um, but restores 160 HP to all allies. Is that a random effect, like, between turns or something? Sure. Uh, actually, can I give that to someone else? I can't. Alright, well, we'll equip that. Right, so what about these other items that I've got that you can forge? So, I gave you, um... Oh, that's different. Cloud Wand. Alright, so I gave you another one of those water drop things. Um, I, I kind of figured that if nothing else, uh, if he makes me like three spirit rings or whatever, then I could I could sell the other two because it, it seems that only Shiva can wear it. But let's go give you my third tier stone. Let's see what you get out of this one. And then I'll give you the other thing, the, the Stardust or whatever. Okay, so what's, what's this last one? Um... Clear bracelet. How much money has that consumed, by the way? Um, most of my money. Okay. I I might not be able to pick up this last one, um, right here and right now, but, let's see. That is a, that is a class thing. I can probably sell a bunch of these. Um, rare metal from space, that is the stardust. Okay. You can have the stardust. And I'm going to go and sell some of the some of the things that I haven't had need for in a bit, and we'll we'll come back and we'll see if I can give you payment for the thing again. Right, so we've done that. Yeah, yeah, payment. And apparently, I had enough money for that. Uh, astral chain? Did that say? I I hit the A button too fast. Um, astral circlet. Okay. We've also got the clear bracelet, which raises water power. Um, I believe. Really? The water adept can't equip the thing that increases water power. That makes sense. Well, Jenna can have that just for the points, I guess. Just for the <clears throat> defense points, I guess. Uh, we've also got the Astral Circle. It raises PP. Um, that will... Honestly... It would help if, if uh, the, the text, the menu text said what we already had equipped here, and like what its secondary effect is, because only three points out of 177, um, like, again, that's like a 2% increase, and the other thing that she already has might have a, an effect that I like better. Um, anyway, uh, Guardian Ring, when did I get that? Oh, I replaced that with the, um, the other ring, didn't I? The Spirit Ring. All right. Cloud Wand unleashes Stun Cloud. That sounds impressive. We've got we've already got the Glower Staff though, which um, I believe is what I've got equipped now, and that that has a cool secondary effect. Uh, Frost Wand unleashes Frost Bite. Can I give that to someone else? Mm, not to any useful effect. Uh, what about the other one? All right, that will raise Jenna's attack by a bit. Stun Cloud honestly doesn't sound like a terrible effect to unleash, but we can uh, we can give that to you. And I guess that's it for now. All right, so we've, um, maybe not. That wasn't quite what I was hoping for from, um, from that Teopo Swamp region. But we got a little bit done. Uh, where do I want to go next? So I went back to Aqua Rock because I remember that, um, there are those statues that look like they were teetering on the edge of falling off. And, um, I tried to use Tremor on them. Nothing happened, so I guess I'm going to, like, save that for later. Um, there's probably something else I'm gonna have to do there. Um, I also, in, uh, in looking for things that I can do now, apparently I should be able to do the animal quests, or the, the single connected animal quest, um, with what I have now. So first, I'm gonna have to go and find my way up, um, up this little island again, and I'm going to have to all right, that is a little bit, a little bit on the tedious side, but there's a bird here. Uh, someone in the comments pointed this out to me not too long ago. I can chirp chirp you if I read your mind. Uh, with the, uh, the mind read spell. Let's see what happens if I read your mind. That stone you have, it's divine, simply divine. I must have it, I must have it. I'll give you my very fancy neckerchief, neckerchief for that fancy stone of yours. Is it a handkerchief for the neck? Um... Uh, so I'm gonna trade that. I got that from, uh, from Pangolina. The, uh, the penguin. I can't get over that name. 
um, down in uh, down by Antarctica a little while ago, didn't I? So that makes that makes me think that we are going to give you this very fancy neckerchief, uh, the red cloth. Let's see. I um, that's progress towards something, I'm sure. I remember there was the turtle in I think it was the Apogee Islands. It might have been one of the other islands. Um, that, that said he wanted a turtle friend or something like that. I think there might have also been something here, animal-wise. Is there an Izumo? I don't remember if there was anything in Izumo. Let me head out to the Sea of Time Islet, see if I can find anything there. Oh, you're the turtle. Okay. Yeah. That is... The wrong synergy. Uh, turtle, mind read. I'm so very lonely. Yeah, you're looking for the turtle friend. I don't know where I get a turtle friend from. Um, let's see. I kind of feel like all of the islands in the um, in the Great Sea over here in the in the Great Pacific Ocean. Uh, like I found an animal on here. I found an animal on on here. Was there one here too, North Oceania? Was there one like uh, here, West Indra? Like all these. Um, all these, like, minor islands had a, uh, had an animal on them, and I don't know if, uh, except for this one, I think. I don't think Treasure Isle had one. Let me, let me bounce back over here and here, see if I can, see if I can find an animal that I missed or that I overlooked before. Alright, so can we, uh, can we find an animal healer? This was the first one that I visited. Uh, this is the first one of these islands that I visited, so it's entirely possible that I just, like, didn't, didn't realize that I could like, well that's an animal, uh, didn't realize that I could talk to someone, um, looks like there's a, it looks like there's a path over, over there, it looks like, it looks like I should be able to get there somehow, I don't know, I don't know how I do that, um, alright, is there, there's nothing, nothing in here. Well, you light up like an NPC when I use Reveal. At the very least. You know, I don't suppose I can read your mind from afar, can I? So apparently, uh, if you want to talk to the cow, I need a synergy from Gaia Rock. A little different and uh okay so there, there this dog this uh there is actually a dog another another one of these animals in this um uh, this indra islet as we called it and i don't remember what you said uh you said you said woof obviously uh you're thinking uh the water here is so salty i wish someone would bring me something tasty to drink and no no prompt popped up when i did that which makes me think I don't have an item that I can use to satisfy that yet. Okay. Um, I, I guess I guess that mystery will have to wait. Um, the fact that I can get a synergy from Gaia Rock, though, uh, does make it sound like uh, that is a place that I can that I can go, and that is that is something that I can like progress plot-wise um, now rather than later. So I guess I'll try and do that. All right. Okay, we have returned to Izumo. Gonna begin by shoving that guy out of the way. And I, uh, I thought about it for two seconds, and I don't think actually um, Gaia Rock is where that particular piece of plot took place. I think that's the, the mountain up north, Mount Mikaj or whatever it is. Uh, it's not marked. It's not marked on my map. Um, is that a dungeon which I can actually mark out on my map, or is that like do I have to do something else first? Um, hmm, okay. Well, um, into Gaia Rock we go. Maybe Mount Mikaj or whatever is, like, on top of Gaia Rock? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I see some of the puzzle pieces that I pushed around are still as they were, which is good because I don't really feel like going through that again. Um, there were... I think there were some growth synergies or some whirlwind synergies or something here that I could have done had I realized that I could just change my genie around and... Um, and access those synergies. Um, I'm gonna have to find them now. And ah, yes, the swinging vines. 
Let me cut away to see if I can find them. Um, okay. So, we're inside Gaia Rock. Uh, I was trying to remember if there was, like, a whirlwind grass reeds or something like that, or cyclone grasses that I could blow around. But instead, um, yeah, we have reached the, we have reached the room that likes to loop back on itself, but this is a growth point. And I know what to do with growth points. Okay. Cool. Um, I didn't actually do that much wandering around outside because largely I got bored and decided to come in here instead. Uh, treasure chest. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be a mimic. I, I've been talking through mimic fights, haven't I? Even though it's probably not the most interesting. Uh, planet diver. That sounds exciting. Um, planet diver salamander. I, for whatever reason, and I don't think this is actually true, but I've got it in my head that mimics are weak to fire. Um. Alright, tornado is not very effective. You're gonna lower my defense. Alright, that is indeed a cool attack, right? So you are weak to fire. I don't remember if you all have different weaknesses. I just vaguely remember from, like, the first Golden Sun game, which I did play ten years ago, mind that. Um, like, you want to use fire on these guys. Very, uh, very random memory. But anyway. Side drain. Uh-oh. I don't like that because I like having full control over my synergy. Um, let's see. How much, uh... Alright, I was going to say how much longer is that going to go on. I guess that answers my question. We've got 531 gold coins and a game ticket. Um, next, we're going to go to the right. And... I, I both like and dislike... Um, like dungeons and games that are just like a looping, looping maze. Um, until um, like you figure out the puzzle. Like, it's funny in concept. But it's just so tedious to get through places like this. Um, please, please tell me we're getting to the end soon. Like there was uh, the Mind Chat Maze and Epic Battle Fantasy. Um, I think uh, Pokemon get Rusty Maze. Okay, cool. I can bring that back to the Blacksmith too. If Pokemon games had something like this. Uh, I don't remember. Also, I'm starting to run low on PP on on um, on me. Um, I might actually have to... Alright, so this uses 4 PP. I really hope this is the last one. And it's not. Okay, um... For the first time in the game, uh, do I have any items that will restore PP? I have a Psy Crystal. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use that, and I, like, actually need to use that. So let's, uh... I really should bind this to a shoulder button, shouldn't I? To the, to the right. It's all been up and right so far. I don't think there's been any down or left. Really? Oh my god, game. Alright. Ooh. Hello. Let me go into my menu and just, uh, just see if... See if, like, my genie are configured the way that I like them to be. Because this looks this looks and sounds like something that's going to be a boss fight. So, I, I thought about it a little, about how I wanted to go into this. And then I, I thought back to um, uh, earlier in the game when I, I wondered if it was a good strategy to, uh, like, de-equip all your genie, all your djinn. So that, uh, like, when you get into a boss fight, you could open up by summoning a bunch of really strong summons, and someone in the comments said, yeah, that's about as good a strategy as any, so I guess I'm gonna try that, assuming there was a boss coming up. Uh, but I think I'm gonna end this off here. My name is Dragonite, this has been Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Next time, we're gonna be seeing what the ominous music is all about. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.